YouTube. It is, believe it or not, the beginning of the holiday season as far as makeup is concerned. And I have my first two products from the Tarte Holiday Collection. Um, the first one I, that I'm going to show you, I think it's exclusive to the Tarte.com website. I think it is. And it is the limited edition color wheel. And these are Amazonian clay blushes. The package, all of their packaging this year looks like this sort of a mod. I don't know what you call this print, but it's sort of a mod looking print to me. So this um, blush palette is different from the ones from years before, where if I pull it out, they, even the one earlier this year, they come in sort of packaging like this. and have like the four blushes and one of them looked like a, a wallet with blushes in it so this one is different it looks more like their um, sort of a limited edition wheel round eyeshadow palettes they have the blush in the center of it when you open it up you have ten blushes and I'm going to take this film off well, maybe I won't because it looks like it's, well, you can tear it off, but I won't because I don't want the colors that mix. You have this film here that sort of protects the top from the bottom. Let's see if I can darken that up so you can see it a little bit more. But you have five at the top. Um, and these look more peachy and rosy. And then at the bottom here, you have your more neutral colors. And... They are sort of like the mini version of the regular Amazonian clay blushes. You have a total of, let's see, 2.4 grams of product in this entire palette. The colors that you have here are mod here at the top, which is sort of a mauvey peach color. Uh, let's see if I can give you a better look at that. This should. It's trying to focus on what's in the background. Um, let's see. Hold on for one. Second. Okay. So this is the color mod here, and I'll turn it sort of here, and you can see more of a true representation of the color. Then right here. Um, you have the color Idol. Here you have Culture. This is Culture. This is Surreal. And then on the end here, which is totally not, if I turn it that way, you can sort of, but this is the color Deco. Art Deco, maybe that's the, the, the uh, print? I don't know. Moving on. I'm not an art person. Um, on this side, you have your more... I would say more mauvey. This side is more peachy and pink and this is more mauvey and nude. You have a color here that looks like a highlight color to me and this one is called Crafty. You have a true mauve color here to me which is called Ironic. You have here Montage. This one is called Icon which is a lighter mauve and then over here on the side is concept you have let's see like six of them are matte and four of them have shimmer so on this side you have your mattes and then these four here are shimmers and I'm doing a terrible job of showing you but this is what the packaging looks like very nice and this gold on the back the box does not have a picture of the product, but um, yeah, we shall see. I have been waiting to show you this so I can go ahead and use it. And now I can use it and throw the box out. So that one is actually 
back in stock on the Tarte website. It was out of stock for a minute and it will be $44. And this is limited edition. The blush palettes tend to sell out pretty early in the holiday season. So if you are in any way interested in like the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay blushes, run and pick that one up. The next thing that I want to show you is the Pretty Paint Box Collector's Makeup Case. And this one is the Sephora exclusive. So this is what the box looks like. No, it's not purple like the one from Tarte. You have your nice oranges and magentas and sort of a darker reddish orange. A little bit of dark purple in this one. This one you have... 24 eyeshadows, 24 Amazonian clay eyeshadows, a deluxe Tardis Lash Paint Mascara, full sized, so fine micro liner, a deluxe Tardis Glossy Lip Paint, Amazonian clay blush, Amazonian clay highlighter, and two Amazonian clay bronzers. This collection is $59. Oh my god, you get so much. Um, product in here for $59. So this one is available now. I'm looking on Sephora and it does say add to basket. So it is available now for $59 on Sephora.com. Not sure if it's in the stores. But this is what the packaging looks like. And of course you have your Tarte plate right here on the front. Plain on the back. This is just sort of not quite ingredients but it tells you how much product you get back here on this little label on the back you can pull it off and throw it in the trash if you want it reminds me of one of the collections from last year it looks almost just like it um so you see it's gold around the sides this one though is magnetic i believe the one from last year was a zipper this one is magnetic and you open it up you have your film which you can throw out if you want to and you have your shadows here and what I did like is that this year Tarte sort of kind of returned to color their palettes have been mostly neutral palettes here lately so they have returned to a little bit of color this year which I like um, these are not the jumbo sized eyeshadows that they have come out with in the past if you go on tart.com they have okay so as i was saying and it's getting a little dark in here if you go on tart.com you will see a palette that the packaging is similar to the purpley palette of the um blushes and it is a um it is an eyeshadow palette and it has the larger eyeshadow pans in it that we used to from tart um, so you have 24 eyeshadows here. You have a nice mixture of matte and satin and shimmery eyeshadows. I have heard sort of mixed um, reviews on the quality. Most people, a lot of people think that it is not the same quality as say your Tartlet or Tartlet in Bloom shadows. I am going to quickly swatch a couple of them. And see how they swatch on my hand. I did wear this yesterday. Yesterday was Friday. So I wore this on Friday. And I kind of. I thought that the quality of the shadows was pretty good. It's like pretty much on par. To what the other holiday palettes were. But I wore um, Selfie Portrait. Which Selfie Portrait is right here. I am going to swatch that one for you to the back of my hand here and that is what selfie portrait sort of looks like not too bad as far as pigmentation I also wore the color stained glass which is this color here and I'll swatch that one that one is a matte feels sort of dry when you when you swatch it but then a lot of matte shadows feel dry so that one is stained glass um, I am going to swatch the black one at the top here, which is called Silhouette. And we'll see what the pigmentation of that one. That one feels more creamy than the stained glass. 
um, pigmentation on this one not so much it comes off sort of ashy and not like a true black more like a gray than a black I am going to swatch and I am making a mess on my hands here I am going to swatch one of the sort of what I would use as a crease color and this is called Van Gogh with it Let's see, let's swatch it with this finger. This one feels creamy. And you won't be able to really see that one because it matches with my skin. But that is Van Gogh with it. Let's swatch this one called First Impression. Right here. Sort of a bluish gray or grayish blue. Um, let's go with this finger here. And let's watch that one there. And that is first impression. And my first impression of that one is not so much. I don't really like it. The pigmentation is lacking in this color as well. Um, I think you probably have to really work with these to build them up. But... I mean, we'll see. I'll play with it on my eyes. The ones that I used on yesterday, I was really impressed with. So, probably the ones that I would use most often, I would probably like because the formula seems a little better than those colored ones. I'm going to swatch this one at the top. This is a shimmery one called Glitter Glue. This one looks like it would be good as like an inner corner highlight. And I just gouged it, <laughs> but uh, not really. I can barely see that. It is right here. Um, so those are swatches of the eyeshadows. Now, I guess take that for what it's worth. The eyeshadows are not as good. If you ask me, as far as the amount of product for your dollar, I think it's okay. For the shadows, they are very, very hit or miss. Like the ones I am most attracted to. Let's watch this monochrome one. The ones I am most attracted to seem to have decent pigmentation. The others that like are colors I would not normally use are not good at all. Um, I'm going to swatch this one, which is one I would probably use called Monochrome right there. That one is sort of a satin color. It feels very creamy. And it swatches very well. See, so this is one of the colors that I would be attracted to. And the palette is the eyeshadows are pretty hit or miss. And I have got to clean this stuff off my hands. So one second. I'll be All right, so we are going to move on to the other side. You have a blush here. And the blush is called Moment. You have a highlighter, Authentic, right beside it. You have two um, bronzers. One is Unique. That's the Shimmery Bronzer. And then you have Provocative, which is the Matte Bronzer. And I will not even pretend that either one of these bronzers are dark enough for me to use as a bronzer. The shimmery one, unique, I may get some use out of. I'm going to swatch everything. This is the first one that I'm going to swatch is the blush called Moment. And that is Moment. Mm, I'll see what it looks like on my face right there. It looks a little light. But I may get some use out of it. I don't know. Right now what I am swatching is the highlight. And that is called Authentic. And it's gorgeous. That is the highlight. Very creamy. Very pigmented. I'll get a lot of use out of that one. Maybe I'll mix the two of them as like a highlighting blush. I'm going to now swatch the Shimmery Bronzer. And this one is called Unique. And that is what the shimmer bronzer looks like. It looks like a matte bronzer with a little bit of glitter in it. It may mix with this, with the blush maybe. 
and make it a nice blush and then the last thing I'm going to swatch is the matte um, bronzer and that is provocative and it's right there so that is what provocative looks like it almost looks like those two colors would be better for me for setting my makeup than they would as actual bronzers for me they are too light and they are not women of color friendly whatsoever um, and I'm just keeping it 100% real they are not the it almost looks like they try to be women of color friendly with the shadows and giving you some deeper color shadows but then the payoff is not that great um, I am going to show you the rest of what comes in the palette or the collection you have a little flap here and it says imagine create and inspire it is a nice hard plastic and when you open it up you have a mirror here and then you have your mini size of the TARDIS lash paint is it called the TARDIS yeah lash paint mascara so you have a little mini of that you have a full size liquid eyeliner called the So Fine Eyeliner. And this is just a black eyeliner. And I tried it the other day and it's actually pretty nice. You have a very fine tip on it. And the tip is sort of flexible, but it is a felt tip. It is a felt tip that I can see. It's a felt tip liquid eyeliner so not as flexible as the tattoo liner from Kat Von D but if that'll focus for me it does have a pretty decent um, pigmentation to it so I do like the liquid liner and of course you get your glossy lip paint which I like the glossy lip paint. This one is a nude color and let me see if I saw what the color of this was. I don't remember. They don't really say and quickly before my um thing runs out it just says oh obvi 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 like short for obvious that's the name of it and we'll just swatch that real quick and it's a pretty nude color i would wear that so that is the collection that i wanted to bring you real quick my battery is going to die if you want me to come back and do a look with this let me know these are just the beginning of course I'm going to be buying the collection from QVC and I might buy the other palette from the Tarte website to see if it's any better than this one. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.